What is up, you guys? Um, just in the lab, man, in the back cave, in my freaking zone right now, working on a project. Um, shout out to my buddy Robert, but just putting together some some sales funnels, um, putting up some videos, putting together just a bunch of pages and um, email sequences, and just wanted to kind of just share what I'm doing, man. Day in the life. This is just shit that I'm already doing, and I really, I really believe that you guys can learn something from it. You know what I mean? So, um, late night where I'm at. Um, but again, just grinding, man, on my, on my grind and just, and just staying focused. So here's what I just did. Here's what I just did. Um, this, this is showing all categories, which is showing all the pages. But if I go to just this one, this is where it starts. It starts with this opt-in page from the opt-in page. They opt in to download a free PDF. We're giving away a free tip sheet, right? Um, targeting a local area, running Facebook ads, getting them to download a free offer, right? Free PDF, giving them th some, some great value. Um, all through video marketing, running video ads through Facebook, through Instagram, um, and, just, and just building a, a custom audience, building a local audience in that area, right? And, and um, it starts with taking them to that landing page. Once they opt in, then they end up going to this thank you page right here where it's him on video thanking thanking them for opting in telling them to check their emails over the next few days and most importantly getting them to schedule an appointment right so let me um let me show you this next page and not everything is up i'm just editing everything right now and that's why i wanted to just kind of jump on with you guys to kind of show you what i'm doing but um they opt into the landing page and then they come here, right? So simple, simple thank you page, right? Simple thank you page, got the bottom um, copyright, got the links going out to a social media, got the phone number, got these buttons going out to certain pages. Um, simple, 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 right? We'll have our Facebook pixel tracking everyone who lands on this page, so I'll, I'll install the pixel. Um, but this is a simple 30 second video, man, just introducing himself, saying thank you for opting in. Thank you for downloading your free, you know, PDF. Um, also telling them to check their emails over the next few days and then getting them to schedule an appointment. So if you're out there consulting, coaching, if you're out there in the client services business where in your business it takes someone it takes it takes getting someone on the phone. If you're in that type of business, this is a simple funnel for you, man. A simple funnel for you to drive traffic to a landing page. Um, again, the landing page is not done yet. It's not even, it's just the template, but let me kind of give you an example. This is what I'll be working around. And that's the cool thing about Kartra. Um, there's a link in the description. There's a 14 day trial. You can definitely try it out. Profit with Kartra.online. But with Kartra, there's so many templates and these are all proven templates. And all I got to do is come in here and edit, add some text, replace this with my text, um, maybe put some of his testimonials, but this is already all template out for me. And then they come here, they click the red button and then I got to um, edit this part, but this is where they would opt in and download now. And once they click on download now, they're taken straight to this page right here where it's him on video again saying thank you and getting them to schedule a, an appointment. Click the yellow button um, to schedule free call. They click on that. It takes them straight to the calendar where I got to update this calendar, but it'll take them straight here where they can book an appointment. It's that, it's that simple, you guys. And so when you can drive traffic to that landing page, right, and, and, it, and it all comes down to your landing page, you can drive traffic here. You can definitely get people in your funnel. You'll definitely get people scheduling appointments. And for those that do not schedule an appointment, because everyone that lands here is not going to schedule an appointment, right? That's why we have them on an email sequence. So that's why your email autoresponder is so important. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting together the pages and I am putting together the email autoresponder. So here's what I wanted to also show you. So it goes from it goes from the landing page to the thank you page to them scheduling a call and going straight to the calendar. And then when they when they book a call from the actual calendar, then they're taken over here. And this is the last page where it's a thank you page, 
but now it's a thank you for scheduling page. So all we're doing, man, is, is, is branding himself. And that's why video is so important, you guys. By the time someone sees his Facebook video ad, in that, in that video ad targeting his local area, they're already getting indoctrinated because they keep seeing him. He's bringing value. He, we're running a new video every week. We're building custom audiences and retargeting and continually getting in front of people that are watching his stuff. Not only is he getting people indoctrinated and getting them used to seeing him in the newsfeed, and these are people that are in his backyard, right? So not only is he bringing value on the, up, on, on, on the front end, which is that video ad, but as they come through his funnel, right they come to the thank they come to the landing page and then they come to the thank you page where it's him on video and then this and then they end up scheduling a call and they come to another thank you page thank you for scheduling they're seeing his face again dude i'm telling you man after a few times of seeing a person on video you literally feel like you know them and especially if you're in the market especially if you're that ideal customer or you're that ideal client especially if they're really bringing value to you right you, you start to like them. You start to feel like you know them. You start to trust them because you're literally seeing their personalities, their characteristics, everything about them. You're seeing it all on video. And so that right there, you guys, is super, super basic and super, super powerful. Um, now, for those that don't schedule an appointment, right? So for those that do not hit the yellow button, that's why the email autoresponder is so important. And so that's what I'm going to do real quick is show you in my communications, this is where I set up the email. Actually, you know what? Let me go back to my pages because this is what I also wanted to show you. So now I'm going to set up the email sequence. Okay. So for those that don't hit the yellow button, they're going to be in, on our, on, in our email sequence. And the email sequence is the autoresponder. So those, those are going to be emails that go out every single day. Well, shit, to tell you the truth, we can set it however you want. We can set it daily. We can set it every other day. We can send emails every three days, however you want to set it up. But when a person opts in for the first time, sending them an email every day for the next, let's just say five days is a, is a good, a good rule of thumb. It's a good, um, 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 habit to, to, to adapt to, um, Sending an email every other day is also really good. Like in, on on some of my email list, I send an email every other day, right? And I and I set it for send it for a long time. I have like twenty five emails ready to go out on a specific list every other day. So you can you can set up as many as you like, um, and that's why those of you that are affiliate marketers, that's what you're gonna do, man. You're gonna you're gonna win on the back end. You're gonna run ads, give away something for free. Normally, it's some type of digital download, a coupon. If you're a local restaurant, give away a coupon. Um, so simple for people to see that ad, click on it, download your coupon, and all of a sudden be on your email list. It's that email list that you're going to email every week a different offer. You're going to email them every week value. And, and so as that email grows, man, so does your brand. So does your customer base and, and, and the ability to just – continually throw out offers, but throw out valuable ones. Don't just pitch, pitch, pitch. It's not just about, you know, trying to sell your shit. Like you want to throw out value as well and keep it basic, keep it simple and, and keep it authentic. And so what we're going to be doing, what I, what, what, what I'm going to put together here is an email is the, is the actual email sequence. So when someone opts in and they don't schedule an appointment, we're going to hit them via email. And the whole objective via email is to obviously deliver value, but to also get them on the phone. We need appointments. We need people on the phone. I need to talk to people. So again, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're any in, in any type of the client services businesses where you actually need to get people on the phone, this is how you do it, man. This is how you do it. You run a free offer to that local audience or that nationwide audience, whoever the heck your niche is, right? You're, you're running paid traffic, you're giving away something for free. Could be a free training, could be a free digital download, right? A PDF. Um, in my case, I have a book. I have a free PDF. It's a digital book, right? So people can go to my page, download it, and now they're on my email list. And so as I email, what we're also going to be doing is we're going to be putting videos through the marketing, so through the email marketing. So as I email, there's going to be a link that goes to this page and the reason why we throw out the page is so as people receive our emails, they're going to be clicking on it and it's going to be another value-based video. But the whole reason why we're taking them here 
to the to a to an actual page is so we can Facebook pixel them. So we could Facebook pixel them, keep their attention on one topic, right? And then get them to schedule an appointment. So we're gonna set up a handful of emails that go out with all this in mind, right? Like this is the strategy. So the strategy is to is to is to get them on the front end, but then also get them on the back end by delivering value and doing it via video on an actual page where we can Facebook pixel them and then create custom audiences around all those people and continue to run ads to them in the future. And when you and when you have hundreds, when you have thousands of people that are going through this funnel and they happen to all be interested in what you're offering because what did you offer up front you offered some type of free download they downloaded it there's no way in hell someone's going to download your um you know five ten weight or five tips to freaking increase belly fat and it's a it's a it's a five page pdf that just gives them value on how to how to lose weight there's absolutely no way in hell that someone's going to download that if they have absolutely no interest in losing weight, right? So keep that in mind. When you're offering something of value up front and people download it, that is a potential client. That is a potential customer. They would have not downloaded it if they were nowhere interested. And, and if you can run local ads, if you're a local business owner, I'm telling you, man, when you have thousands of people that are on your email list and they happen to all live in your backyard and they're all your potential customers, let's say you're a chiropractor, you're a dentist, you're a freaking uh, uh, an attorney, you're a, you're a restaurant, right? You're, a, you're an insurance agent, you're a real estate agent. What can we give up up front of, of, of value, right? Where people will actually be enticed to freaking download it. And then, and then how can we stay in, in, in front of them via email? Because that's what we're going to have. We're now going to own their email address. So we're going to be able to send out emails as long as we want. And, and as long as you're providing value, people stay on that email. And before you know it, man, people are scheduling appointments and you're waking up to scheduled appointments every day. That's the dream. That's the goal. That is the ultimate objective. I want to run enough paid traffic to get people to this page to download my free offer so I can put them in my funnel and, and, and have them on an email list where I'm sending them value-based offers, getting people to click and crush it. Like that's the name of the game, man. Like that's how we crush it. So when you when you have a ton of people, man, going through the funnel, that's when you can really see some some real return on investments. So this is a simple page, you guys, that I'm going to put a video on. And so here's what I wanted to do. Here's the video that's going to go on email number one. And what I have my clients do is I have them just add it to Dropbox, and then I'll take it from Dropbox, and then I'll download it to my computer. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here to Kartra. And I'll put it on Kartra. Sometimes I'll put it on YouTube. A lot of my emails I send through YouTube. Um, and in fact, yeah, I send through YouTube. But some some that go on pages, I actually put on Kartra. So, so, so a lot of these videos are going on Kartra pages. And so um, I'm going to just post them here. I'm going to upload them here because these are not exactly YouTube videos. I would put them on YouTube. But these are these are short videos. And and um and I could, I just, I definitely could put them on YouTube, but I'm going to keep them on, on Kartra and I'll, I'll keep them here. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to simply create a new category. So this video, this is going to be upload one video and this is going to be, um, let's call this, um, video. This is going to be FB. I'm going to just name it this entire thing right here. Okay, so FB add three, life, email one, and then let's create a category. Actually, you know what? This is going to be, yeah, let's, let, let's, let's create a category. We're going to create, um, this is going to be a new category, and this is going to be email three, life. Yeah, email three, life. Let me see. Yeah, FB add three, ways. I'll just put it three ways. Yes, that's fine. FB add three ways. Okay, so that's going to be its own category because I'm going to put all the videos that are going through this email sequence in that specific category. Okay, so now the category is created. Now all I got to do is um, FB add three ways. 
actually, you know what? Three ways. I need to edit that. Let me edit edit it real quick. So go back to manage and then go back to FB add three ways. Go back to go to edit and then we're gonna name this FB add three ways um, email sequence. Okay, so that's better. Save that and then that's the actual category. Hit done and then put this in that category. And this will be a handful of videos that I have in that specific email sequence that are hosted on Kartra going on Kartra pages. Okay, so depending on the video, this can take a few minutes. Um, so let's see, this is a short video, so let's see how long it actually takes to upload. So I'm gonna upload it to Kartra, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the page, and then I'm gonna go set up that email sequence. Okay, so this is super powerful, man. And that's why what you want to do is you want to think email. Getting them to the landing page is one thing. Getting their name and email, that's another. Offering them something of value, that's another thing. But once I offer that value piece, again, I'm telling you it's either a training video or some type of digital download. Once I offer that, what happens next? They're opting in. They wanted that, that 10 tip cheat sheet, whatever the hell you want to call it. They download it. What happens after that? You better have a back end. You better be putting them on a sequence. You better be putting them on an autoresponder or drip campaign, and you better be emailing them value-based emails from that point on. You have to stay top of mind. That is literally how you nurture your list, right? You got to stay top of mind. They got to hear from you. Um, and so, and so through, through the email sequence, there's many things that you can do. You can get them to buy your product. You can get them to schedule an appointment. You can get them to register for your webinar. You can get them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Like there's so many different things and that, and that's why that's you, you, you pay for the Facebook ad upfront. You're paying for the Facebook ad to build a list of people that you'll be able to monetize literally for free from that point on. The moment I get your email from that point on, I never have to run another ad to you. I can literally just email you. I can email you and, and, and really get good at emailing where you're opening my emails, where, you're, where I'm providing value in my emails and you're clicking on my emails and you're buying shit through my emails and you're scheduling appointments through my emails and all that stuff can help happen through the email sequence. And that can go on for a very long time without me ever having to pay another dime to run another ad to you. That's powerful, man. That's super powerful because some people continue to run ads and ads and ads and ads and ads and ads and ads. It's like, dude, capture a lead. Like, don't just run an ad and not capture the lead. That's why it blows my mind. I consult with business owners all the time. They run Facebook ads, but they never take them to a page to capture the lead. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you kidding me? Like, you need to be capturing that lead so you can monetize that lead in the future without having to spend more on it right? And this is how you do it, man. This is how you do it. And in this case, we're just taking it up a, a couple notches by uh, uh, delivering value via email, but through video. And so that's what I'm showing you here, man. And, and, and again, the reason why I'm putting it on a page is so I can Facebook pixel them and, and, and keep their attention and put a call to action, which in this case, it's that yellow button to get them to schedule an appointment. So this is just taking a little longer than, than I wanted, but it'll be, it'll be done right now in a few, few seconds. Um, it goes blue, it, it'll go all the way to the right, and then it'll turn red, and then we'll be able to optimize the video and, and then use it on our page. So let's let this real quick. Let's let this finish, you guys. Well, this is what it takes, man. This is what it takes. And, and so you want to you wanna put together a handful of emails. Do it one time. You know what I mean? You can always add to it. You can always, you know, spend multiple times on it, multiple days on it. You can spend the rest of your life putting together your sequences. But for sure, sit down for a couple hours on a Sunday afternoon, glass of wine, cup of tea, whatever the hell you guys do, and literally just write out your sequence. Put together 10 emails and make every single one of them a few sentences. Simple, you guys can easily do that. And, 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 and start putting together your, 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 your follow-up series because that's what it is. It all comes from your free offer. It all, it all starts on that free offer. What the heck was that free offer, right? What did you give up that was, that was so enticing where people was willing, were willing to give up their name and email? 
Like, what was that? Your, whatever that is, whatever that value base is, like in my case, it's a book, right? It's a digital book. I give that book out for free or people can pay for it, but that's my bait. Once I get people to download my book, now they're on my email sequence. And now I have a handful of emails that go out to them, getting them to do different things. Schedule appointments, register for a webinar, buy my shit, right? Like, and that's all happening through email, man. And again, just taking it up another notch, doing it with a video is even, is even more, more effective. So there's the video. It's now on the page. Um, display um, settings. I don't even mess with display. Sled, settings. I can add an image, a thumbnail if I want it. I can add a, 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 a um, logo, a watermark if I want it. Um, show controls. I can mute on start. I can I can change the buttons right here. Right. I can change these different buttons. And so I'll just leave it at that one. Auto play on load. I can do all that. Call to action. I can have some type of call to action button. I can tag the lead. Whoever watches it, you know, end actions. So I'm going to publish a video. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video and I'm going to go put it on the page. So let's go back to the pages and it's going to go on this one right here. So remember you guys, this is an email that is going out and I'm going to, I'm going to show you how I put together that email real quick. So let's come into the builder and, and, and for sure you want your Facebook pixel on these pages. Okay. So let's come down here, load it, load it, load it, load it, load it. Okay. Now, what we do is just hover over the placeholder. This is just a placeholder. Here's the video, and you could change. You could choose different, um, um, type different styles of the video. Look, if I come over here to components and I go to video, where's the video at? Videos. There's all these different types of templates, right? Like, let me go with. Um, in fact, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna x this one out, and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a different template, a different video. So I'm gonna add this one has a little shade on the bottom you see that so we're going to drag it over here we're going to drop it now there it is there okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over it i'm going to hit edit and i'm going to choose so these are the different platforms that i can post a video from kartra youtube wistia or vimeo um, i do a ton of youtube videos and i'll put that I do a ton of, I have a ton of Vimeo videos for my actual course. I host those videos on Vimeo. Okay. Um, but these pages that I send out via email so I can keep your attention, so I can track you with my Facebook pixel, so I can have a call to action button. These videos, again, I'll either host on Kartra or, or I'll host on YouTube. So in this case, I just, I just uploaded it to Kartra and um, that's the category. And then the video is going to be this one, okay? So FB at three life, that, and then I can change the, the, the different settings right here, but I'll just click apply. And then this right here, you guys, is what I do. Save progress, publish live, and then what I'm going to now, now be able to do is this is my master copy. So it's going to be this template that I use through the entire email sequence. So everything remains congruent. Every, everything remains uniform. Everything remains the same, right? That's another thing you guys want to do, man. Don't send me to a landing page and it's a completely different font, different color, different everything. Like keep your branding the same. Like with this guy, he's with farmers. Their color is red. Right, so we're gonna keep everything uniform. We're gonna keep all the pages looking the same. And again, this was just a template, man. This was a template that Kartra already had, and all we did was, you know, edit and put in our information. So, um, 
these right here, privacy policy. And here's what I'm going to do with this one, actually, to tell you the truth. Let's go to, let's add that. Let me show you how I add that. So farmers insurance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go to their corporate page because he's, he's a broker. He is a franchise owner. And so farmers still remains his corporate um, 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 hub, right? So all I got to do is go to their page, go to farmers. Yeah, this is farmers.com and then come down here. I'm going to grab their privacy policy because he's just a, a, like a, you know, a smaller business. He's a franchise owner. Um, and so their policy, the corporate policy will, will definitely um, hold some weight for, for his page over here, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to just decorate this a little bit. This is, yeah, this is the actual page. Let me go in, back to the builder. Okay, so we're going to hover over privacy policy, and we're going to just simply link it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to link it. We'll go to the link. Go down to external, link to external URL. And then we're going to paste that link right there. And then if they click on it, they'll open it in a new tab. Okay, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to terms of use. And I'm going to simply copy that. And those of you that are real estate agents, go to your actual broker's page, the corporate, go to Coldwell's, go to EXP, go to your corporate page and, and just grab the privacy policy. I just save it every now and then just it's just a habit that I have. But um, and, and, and grab their private privacy policy and grab their terms of use and just simply park it on your page. No big deal. No one even cares about this stuff. But at the same time, you got to be compliant, right? So add it. Link to a, an external, and we're going to just simply paste it right there, okay? And then we're going to add a new tab. So apply. And then on the contact us, what I can do is I can just add um, – what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply tie his Facebook business page to it. Um, we're now in a social media world, you guys. We're now in a social media world. People are messaging messaging you on social media. People want to know you have a social media presence. So why not um, send them to freaking the Facebook page? And that's what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come to his business page Let's come to, his, come to his business page, and then we're going to click About. And this link, this is the About page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take this link and post it there. So I'm going to copy. Here's the About Us. He can go, they can, anyone click on it, they can go straight to his um, Facebook page. And know that he's a real person. You know what I mean. So we'll link to it. We'll link to it. An external URL. There's that. Paste. Open a new tab. Apply. And what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna simply put that in the contact us as well. So link. Link to an external URL. Paste it. Open a new tab. Hit apply. Bam. And then what I'm also gonna do is this right here. Let me make sure copyright. Let's see what. Um, let's close that one, and I keep this congruent as well. This must stay the same. Don't don't like this one says copyright at twenty twenty McDougal, and then this one over here says copyright twenty twenty all rights reserved. Right, super off. It looks tacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just update it and make sure that every page, you know, looks the same at the bottom. So let's go back to. And then you know what? To tell you the truth, um, shit, now that I'm really thinking about it, I actually want this one right here. This bottom one is what I want on all the pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to components. I'm going to go down to footers. Actually, it's in sections. I'm going to go down to footers, and I'm going to actually grab another footer, which I'm going to grab. I think I'm going to grab, let's see, these are different footers. See, here's the one that I had before. Or actually, here's the one that I have on the other page. Actually, you know what, let's just grab. Actually, and here's the thing. Do I have any favorites? Do I have 
So you can save different blocks. Let me see if I have favorite blocks. Did I save any? No, I didn't save any. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm for sure going to save. So I'm going to come to the to the to the footer, and let's just save. Let's let's drag this one. Drag that one, and I'm going to drop it here. Okay, so I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. Um, let's change out. So there's that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply hover over this phone number. Okay, so there's that. And then what I want to do is I want to match this bottom one over here. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste that in. So now everything's going to match around that. And then what I want to do or what I'm going to have to do is come over here and grab that link. And then put it right here. So let's just transfer everything down to this. So link to an external and then take it there. And you want to make sure that this matches HTTPS. Open a new tab. Do the same thing with the contact us. Got the link. External URL. Paste that in. HTTPS, open a new tab, and then the privacy policy is what I need. So let's just grab this real quick. Put it down here. Paste, open in a new tab, HTTPS, and then the last one. Let's grab this term of use link and that's actually damn what am i doing hold on okay so it's this one right here okay so link external paste it https and boom okay so was that HTTPS? Let's double check. Yeah, okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is these icons obviously need to be linked, but you guys get the idea. That's You'll do the same thing with linking your social media icons, same exact thing. So I'll get those linked. But here's what I'm going to do now also is I'm going to delete this top one, obviously. So here's what, here's what you want to do. You can hover over columns, and you can see a different view of it. Um, so for example, it lights up purple. You can, you can delete these little sections. Everything is a little column, right? Or I can go into components and, and delete the actual component. So it's this one right here. So I can delete this entire field just like that. And boom, that one's gone. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make sure and once I actually create the social media icons, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna update these icons. What I can do is I can I can I can um, click on this and I can save section as a favorite, and then boom, I can use that footer throughout every page that I start to create. So that's super powerful. So I'll come back over here and and update those links. But let me get out of here. So now this becomes again email number one. We're going to be driving our email clicks to a separate page where we can share our message and get people to schedule appointments. Okay, so let's save this. This becomes the link. And we can customize this link once we integrate our domain. This domain will be our domain. It's not integrated yet, but I'll set it up. Um, 
and so that will be a whole new a whole new domain. It'll be McDougalInsurance.com forward slash email number one or something like that. You know what I mean? But it'll be his.com rather than this Karcher default one. So here's what we'll do right now. This is the link. And let's also do this. Up here in settings, we want to make sure that we have a title for the tag or for the title of the of the tab, I should say. You see these tabs up here? FB add three. Download now. Schedule call. Thank you. These are all titles on the tab, right? You see the Facebook, Robert, you know what I mean? So this right here, protect your assets, that's the title of the tab. So look, as I X out of this, let's return to dashboard. I copied the link. Let's get out of here. Now watch this. If I open up the link or if I open up the page, You'll see here in the tab, it says protect your assets. So boom, they come here, you guys will be Facebook pixeling them. And there's a value-based email getting them to schedule a call. Actually, damn, I, I didn't mean to put it up there. See, that's why you want to test your damn pages. That footer is obviously not supposed to be up there. So let's go back to the page real quick. Let's click on edit. Damn, how did I not see that the first time, dude? Did you guys see that shit? How in the hell did it end up like that? That's why, man, testing your pages is super, super important. And and systems and softwares like Kartra that make it super easy to edit. That's important too, man. I couldn't I couldn't do this if it wasn't this simple. Like, I'm not a web developer. Like, I don't know shit about designing web pages. But if you give me a template and a, and a simply plug and play type of thing, I can do that. You know what I mean? And that's what this is. It's super simple. Okay, so I don't know why. I don't know why it's oh, actually, well, shit, there it is there. How in the hell did it end up there? Okay, so let's take this. So here's what I can do. I can just simply, let me hit over columns real quick and see if I can just, okay, so I can, Delete that, that's gone. And then I can delete that, that's gone, but there's still a space right there. So what I want to do is I want to delete that entire section, this entire column right here. So I'm going to delete right here. And it should just delete that middle part. Perfect. That's where I want to be. Okay. That's where I want to be. So Let's edit this text really quick. So go back to components and then we click on the text. Let's actually make this a little smaller. Okay, perfect. So schedule your free consultation call. Click here to schedule your free consultation call. Okay, so let's edit this text really quick. And that's going straight. They click on that and they go straight to his calendar. So let's um, change out the text. Click here to schedule your free consultation call. And we'll leave it at that. Okay, so that goes, so we'll link it and it's linking to a Kartra calendar, which is that one right there. Perfect. Come over here, say progress, publish live. And then all we got to do is refresh that page and we should be good to go. So let's refresh this page. So right now it looks like this. I don't know how in the hell we ended up with two, but right now it looks like that. We refresh it. And then bam, there goes our page. So this is a page, you guys. So I'm going to build everything around this, right? When I set up these icons, then it'll be a, a, a template, right? It'll be a template that I'll be able to use over and over and over for the email sequence. I want to send everybody to a page. I want to Facebook pixel everyone. I want to build a custom audience of all these people in my local backyard. And I want to continue to get in front of them, right? So super powerful, you guys, super simple. 
Um, I got to get those icons, which I will work on. Got to get those updated and we just exit. So now this becomes a template. This is the template. This is what I'll use over and over and over via, for, for emails. So here's what I'm going to do. It's this page right here, right? So let's close out these other ones. Um, I just downloaded the video, so we're good with that. And then here's the actual email. So I'm gonna come over here, and here is the email. So this is gonna be part of email. This is email number one. This can be part of the actual email sequence, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come over to the email sequence. So it's gonna be this one right here, free download three ways, that's the list. So when they opt in, they land on a list. That list is tied to the sequence and the sequence is the autoresponder. So this is three ways opt-ins. I, I wanna go to this one and this is what I wanna do. So, this right here, this starting rule is anyone who opts into the form. That's the starting rule, okay? And then this is the actual setup of the email sequence, of the actual email. So this, this one, name of broadcast, is going to be protect yo ass. Con protect your ass sets. Okay, so we edit that. And then what we can do is we can we can schedule it to go out a day later, five hours later, two days later. You can delay it however long you want. I normally delay it maybe one day, um, especially in the very beginning. I want to stay in front of that person, email them a few times every day um, to get them to do something, right? And then after that, I might spread it out every two days, every three days, every five days, right? But I'll have it all set up. Write them, I'll write them all out once, and then boom, I'll just dump them in the autoresponder and let, let the automation you know, do its thing. So that's the gateway. It's coming from that email, right? Going to people who are subscribed to this list, which I need to change. This is gonna be not subscribed to that list. It's going to be people send if they're subscribed to the other list, which is free download three ways, okay? So I'm gonna add, add it there, which reminds me, let me, double check the actual starting rule. So let's go back here to the starting rule. Okay, free download three ways, perfect. Okay, so anyone who opts in that form is on the list and then also in this email sequence. So let's go back to the setup of email one, right? Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the email content and this is where we're gonna add in our email. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy this entire thing. And then I'm going to paste it. So, and this is a simple template that we have set up as well, which I'm going to change a little bit, but let's put it right here. And then I'm going to just simply control V and this right here needs to be changed out to the actual variable, which is this right here. And then I'm going to bring it back over here. I'm going to paste it. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to paste it up here. And that's email number one. Okay, the main idea of, of term insurance policy is to provide protection against death for a given amount of years, protect often, car loans. Okay, an easy example, John and Mary. Okay, so in this example, this is where life insurance can be the difference. Okay, also be sure to access my calendar at the bottom of the page. Click here to... Okay, so let's do this. Click here to... Okay, click here to watch a short video 
of click here to watch a short video of me explaining how important this really is watch here and even though i put click here here also i'm going to put watch here also and i want it there twice so i'm going to copy this link right and then i'm going to bring it over here and then i'm going to paste it right there so that goes right there okay and then also i'm going to do it again watch here put that link right there okay and now those two are linked okay and then what i'm also going to do is since i want this to match i'm going to copy this you want everything to be uniform man so let's paste that there and it doesn't have to be that big so let's go a little smaller um perfect that's all we need that's all we need simple and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this as a template save as template and now i can just use that template over and over and over again um so it's saving in progress and boom and then what i'm going to do what i'm going to do after this you guys is let's say you you can always send a test email so sending a test email is super important um and the title of this is actually protect your assets and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to say jack this is how this is how you protect your assets and i'll just put lowercase okay Jack, this is how you protect your assets. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send a test email. Let's send a test email. Okay, so let's send a test. Let's open up that email. Make sure we got it in our inbox, not in our spam, right? So let's open up the email. Make sure we got that one. Bam. This is how you protect your assets. I open up that. And then I come over here. I click here. And it takes me straight to a page, man. It takes me straight to a page where it's him on video telling him to schedule a call. Bam. Just like that, just like that. And now we have our social media or we'll, we'll actually we'll, we'll, we'll have our social media icons connected and then boom, people can, you know, connect with, connect with, with us there as well. But again, the whole purpose of this man is to Facebook pixel them. We're going to add our Facebook pixel. Number one, number two, to keep their attention on one video. And then number three, call to action. Click here to schedule your free consultation call. Bam. They click on that. And we can just always take them to our calendar where we get people to schedule appointments on demand. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to obviously, you know, spend the next, and then once, once we're, once we're done editing that, click on edit and then boom, we're done with that. So now we can just close this one out and move on to the next email. So that right there you guys is 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 super super basic super powerful and it flows so i'm going to put an i just put that email i'm going to do another one that goes out a day later another one that goes out a day later so what we have here is, is three set up once they download over the next three days they're going to hear from us they're going to hear from us they're going to hear from us and again the whole objective through your email campaign is to provide value and get them to do what you want them to do buy something schedule an appointment register for a webinar, whatever, download your shit, whatever. All that is going to happen via email, man. And so I hit done and exit. I'll come back and finish the other emails. Um, and then, and then, and then just going back to the pages, the next email is going to be another video. And all I got to do, since I have the template now, all I got to do is come over here, hit clone. Let's hit clone. In fact, let me do this now. And, and this is going to be 
this is going to be email. Let's go back. This is going to be email number two. So there's email number one. This is email number two. Um, that was email number one. This is email number two. And this is going to be what? Let's go. We'll title it that. So email number one. Actually, how did okay? So email number one, let's do it from here. Let's do it from email number two. Okay, so that becomes perfect. So that's in that, and then it's gonna be in that category, right? It's gonna be in the three ways category. Actually, let me see, let me see, let me see. This is gonna go, yeah, I'll keep it in, I'll keep it in that category. I'll keep it in that category, that's fine. Okay, and then we clone it. And then now we have a second page just like that where we're now gonna add the next video. So I'll download this video, right, from Dropbox, just take it straight down, download it, and then I'll add that video to Kartra, and then I'll add it to the next page. And that's it, you guys. And I'll just repeat that process over and over and over. Get my Facebook pixel on one page, clone it, and be able to use it over and over and over. And that's how we get her done. That's how we get her done, you guys. So um, what I want to do also is make sure that the tab is titled correctly. So this is normally the first thing I'll do. I'll come into a new page and just make sure that that SEO parameter, make sure that that title is what I needed to say. Okay, this one says protect your assets. That's not, this is not this email campaign, right? This is going to be um, what's your income worth. So this is what I want to name the page. What's your income worth? That's going to be this page. What's your income worth? And now just be the simple tab that is in the tab. Simple title that's in the tab. So I'll save that. I'll publish live. And then that becomes the new page. So I'll add that video. I'll do all the little, you know, edits and updates, but at least I have the page and I'll just keep cloning it, keep cloning it, keep cloning it and, um, and deliver value via email, man, and, and get people to schedule appointments. And before you know it, we're closing deals all through leads who are, that are coming in through social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So that's what I want to show you guys. If you haven't set up your 14 day trial, I'm telling you, man, I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't know what you're doing profit with Kartra dot online. There's a 14 day trial in the description. Step your game up, get your pages up and deliver value. I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.